Hey everyone, look on the screen, look on the screen, look on the screen. 23 year old. I see him as a seed of poverty D. They serve mama some cold fries and as a result, a young black man might die. So the mama goes to the McDonald's in Bedford side and she gets her french fries and she complains that they're cold. She's complaining. And while she's doing this, based on, I'm assuming you saw part A, you saw the story. She's FaceTiming with her son, this right here. Is this Michael Morgan? It might be his name. She's FaceTiming with him. The world is watching and the BC is giving them a heck of a show. Honestly and truly. So she's FaceTiming with her son. I guess he goes to be Mr. Bad. A-Z-Z, -Z, okay. So what does he do? Oh, no. Look, my mama's fired. Just coughing to go down there and show him, shorty. She's 40 years old. So he's 23. So I guess she had him around 17. I don't see why I just couldn't be resolved. Either A, give her some new fries or give her a refund. And B, I wasn't there, thank goodness. But sometimes with these customers, it is possible maybe the fries could have been cold. But sometimes I know dealing with people, um, I, I've seen this where people want to get something for free. But it was this is easy to resolve. Either just give her some new fries or give her a refund. But I know when you have low-performing people, the least little thing can go wrong and they go off. Why? There's so much going wrong in their lives that they are not equipped. Emotionally, mentally, they can't handle it. So when it's a small issue about some cold fries, it goes from zero to 150 just like that. Why? Oh, I'm in control of this with these fries. I can show her these fries situation. That's the reason why. Life is already messed up. So much going wrong, they can't handle it. So the one little thing, something so minuscule, something so infinitesimal, they'll just go crazy. Why? I'm going to stand up for these fries. So her son sees what happens, and in true dust bucket low-performing uh, behavior, in true dust bucket fashion, he goes to go on down under McDonald's with his girlfriend. I'm going to handle up. Mama's fries is cold. Mama has a lot more problems, first of all. A young teen mama, where's a man at? Stupid. Ignorant. Low performing. The seed of poverty D. I see his mama as Queen Poverty P. And guess what? She signed up to be an IOD, as evidenced by her son's actions, an incubator of destruction. He comes on down there. We're talking fries. What do they cost? What, two, $1.99 to $2.39? But I thought Black Lives Matter. That's the joke. Fries. So he goes down there. Are you serious? If I can't get the fries that I want, I'm just going to ask for a refund. That's happened to me. In the drive-thru, and I was, I'm like, are you, the drive-thru was on? I'm like, you know, forget it. So, uh, but it was a salad. So I'm like, you know, I, I'm like, this salad looks a hot mess. And it was Wendy's. I'm like, no, this is like some trash. So I'm already mad. It took a long time. I got the salad. I said, no, not acceptable. I went inside and I was hot. I was, I'm like, look at this new, oh, we had to make it. Well, you, you're making it failed. I'm like this, no, no, no. And what it was, I like the greenery of a salad and it had a lot of that other kind. So I went inside and I stood there and I was really perturbed. I was really pissed off, but I didn't like say anything initially. I just kind of stood there for a minute and I just kind of, you know, I call, I was calm, but I think the guy saw it on my face. And so I said, yep. I said, this salad is not acceptable. Uh, either I want a new salad or, and she was like, we just had to put that together because we're basically out. Oh, well, yeah, I just want to read fun at this point. So luckily, you know, so I didn't have to go there. I was really mad because, again, I was having to wait in the line so long and then to get this defective product. So that, 
I'm like, no, nah, I'm just going to go inside. So I went inside and, you know, I, I wasn't smiling like, hey, I was very like, hmm, kind of sighed a little bit. And I said, stated what the issue was. Okay. In return, they upgraded me to a better salad. And like, oh, we're sorry. We're sorry. We understand. I said, yeah, this is just not acceptable. I said, I can tell this is thrown together. But well, we were running out. But yeah, yeah, it's just not acceptable. So I'll just take, I really wanted the salad. And that was it. That, that's it. It's not, I'm not going to go, oh yeah, my salad is messed up, man. That's crazy. But that's let you know. When people's lives are so, they're in so much disarray. So much going wrong. They go to one to 10 on a small matter. Or in this case, 150. So he comes down there. It escalates. And as you heard by part A, the girlfriend, she's with him. Oh, I guess this is the enforcer. She hands him the gun. And this 23-year-old foolish, low-performing, self-hated, certified IOD he should have been wearing a onesie. One, two, three, ABC felony. That's how it turned out. One, two. This is a good example of one, two, three, ABC felony onesie. So he, the girlfriend, they go down there. She hands him the gun. And you shoot another black man over some fries. What was the mom doing? You didn't hear like she was trying to stop it. No, 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 no. She's FaceTiming her son. You don't think she know what kind of son she's raised? She wanted some action. She wanted some action is what I think. Well, now you got it because all three of them have been arrested. Why didn't she hang up the phone? No, she wants her son to see what's going on. What's going on, mama? She wants her son to see what's going on. If not, you could have eased it, ma'am. So, son, let me end this matter. But she didn't do that. He comes on down there. You didn't say anything, hear anything about the mother tried to stop the son. Didn't hear anything about that. The mom tried to stop the son from behaving like this. You didn't hear that. No, you didn't hear that. You heard nothing of the sort. So now she's arrested, which I'm so glad. He's arrested. And then you hear the part where they said, they, and after speaking with him, they've already tied him to a murder of another man back in, what, 2020, I believe? All three been arrested. Taking lives. And they're saying the young twin, the young man, the 23-year-old man, is in grave condition. It could go either way. He has not been released. He's in grave condition. It's serious. That man could die. Over some what? 239 McDonald's French fries. The world is watching, and Blackistan is giving a hell of a show. Killing over some, potential killing over some french fries. And then they got this food. So look, look how stupid he is. I'm, in a way, I, I hate that this happened, but I'm glad that they went down like the fools that they are. And now th they've caught him and he started talking. They've already got him, uh, been arrested now on a murder of another man. Not even related to this right here, another man. So this man dies, it'll be two murders. See where your mama got you? But look at the raising. Look at this. The mother, the girlfriend, the mama, she gets heated. Her son comes down there. The girlfriend hands him a gun. And it's on. Ain't no Cletus will get you. He'll shoot you. I keep saying, when these things happen and you can't find these people, you can't find these young men, especially on the BC, uh, you don't have to worry. Trust and believe. The women, they know they know about these dust buckets. Oh, yeah. who's Who do you think is hiding them out? Well, I just can't turn my on in. They know what they're dealing with. They know it. When they're pulling these capers, robbing somebody, stealing, they know. He doesn't have a job, but he come home with some money. He come home with a product. 
And I'm thinking that's why a lot of times when you hear about women on um, governmental social programs, a lot of ki a lot of kids. And I've also heard about in the medical field how some of them, one lady was saying her daughter was like that. Oh, how they're so disrespectful at the hospital because you know why? They know that you're giving birth to the seed of poverty D and you are Miss Poverty P. You sign up to be an IOD, an incubator of destruction, and you are releasing a tragedy on the community. And you wonder why. Said, oh, my daughter in the hospital and they're so mean to her, disrespectful. You know, she having a baby. The, the thing was on child number seven. What the hell you expect? 23 uh, certified ILD on child number 7 the dumb thing didn't even have a, a, a high school diploma and what was she doing sitting up drinking all day I, I still can't figure out how one of the children to this day got a hold to drinking some um, that fluid you put in your car and end up in the ICU you shouldn't call her a thing the witch is a thing well, she was let she and her boyfriend was laying up in the house sleeping. That you know they do they just smoking and drinking. How does your child drink some coolant? How, it's the one that hit it. Child was in the ICU, but we want to respect her. You wonder why some people react. They they um treat you the way that they do i used to kind of oh single mother oh when you find them like this here and i see all the crimes and it can be in a parent a two-parent household as well but when you see sometimes you get an aura about people you see negativity no sympathy so the mama this is what you raised you and disappearing daddy this is the outcome right here Another man have arrested him on murder. Now he shot somebody over some fries. It's understandable. This is what he does. Or in their turn, this is what he do. He get mad at you and he shoot. This is what he do. But black lives matter. If only black lives matter to black people, we'd have less violence. In the community, it would be safer. But French fries, French fries. 23 year old man is now in grave condition, shot in the neck. Or he could have bled out. Again, they fought him for murder on one man already. It's probably what he was hoping to do. What was he going And then ran. Be like Neely Fuller said, stand by your word. What you running for? So this is what we do. This is what we do. Oh, killing each other over some, trying to kill each other over some fries. And I guess he expected to go ahead. I guess in a, in a fantasy world. In a chimerical world, oh my, he would be able to go ahead and commit this crime and then get his mother some new fries and go home happily ever after. Gotta be kidding me. There is something wrong in the BC. And too many women are carrying a sea of poverty D. Poverty D and poverty P. Said it before, said it again. They get together and they're just creating the tragedy and they release their human trash on society. It's sickening. It's sickening. It's embarrassing. It's hurtful. It's getting to the point that this group, I no one's coming to invest in it. I, I understand. It's a bad investment. What did that man tell me? I'm like, well, why do you think they're not investing in black men? He said, well, black men, they, they just kill each other. So that would be a bad investment to me. And I get it. And think if you're a black, just think you have an opportunity. Someone wants to invest in you, maybe your education. But, oh, you're in Blackistan? Nah, not going to be a good investment. Well, hey, you can afford it. Write the check. This young black man over here, he's smart. Yep, he lives in Blackistan. Well, you can, you know, you can invest in him. He can get a way out. No, he lives in Blackistan. 
Well, there are a lot of, you know, he may die at the hands of another black man. So who wants to sit up there and write the check for tuition to invest in someone knowing he's around this right here? If it's a black man, child, you might as well be surrounded by the Klan. So some people will take chances and invest in black women. Look on the screen, people. And you wonder why I say a black man that works for the Klan? This here is a perfect example. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. If you're in one of these areas and you see that you got these Dustinas, anyone, Becky, any of them, people getting heated up over a fast food order, I would suggest at that point might be a good time to move around. Just leave it. It's not worth it. The seed of poverty D wrecks havoc every day in the community. I'm out.